Hi, Tanner family. Um, this is Miss Lee here. We miss seeing you all every day, but we're hoping to make this a uh, time when your students are at home with you a little bit easier by having some online enrichment that they can do. Today, I'm going to walk you through how you can access Google Classroom um, from home. All students at Tanner Elementary in grades three to eight have Google Classroom set up by their teachers. So, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to recognize that Google Classroom is the way that most teachers share assignments with your kids during the day. So our students should be pretty familiar with how to navigate within Google Classroom once they get there. The biggest challenge is, is that on their CPS computers, they just log in and it's automatically there. So I'm going to show you how to access it. We can get on Google Classroom from mobile devices, so your phones, tablets, um, and you can also do it from any sort of computer. Okay, so the first thing to know that to do this, your child has to know their CPS username and password. Most of our kids know their passwords. Their usernames are a little bit hit or miss. So if your child doesn't know their username and password, you can go ahead and give the school a call and they can tell you that information. We can also add you, their parents, to that page. So if you have an email, you can shoot their child, you can shoot the your child's teacher an email, and they can go ahead and add you, and then you'll be able to see exactly what's on Google Classroom for your kid. All right, so from home, the best browser to use is the Google Chrome browser. It's just the most friendly. If you're using a different browser, that's okay. But if you can use the Chrome, go ahead and use the Chrome browser. All right, so you're going to open up your window, and then you're going to go to www.google.com. All right, once you're there, you should see a login. If you're already logged into a Google account, you have to sign out, and then you'll be able to put your CPS username in. So once you're logged out, you should have an option to sign in. So you're going to click Sign In. And then this is important. When you go to put it in, you need to put your child's username. So for example, my username is jlee75. So I would go in and I would type in jlee75 at cps.edu. Your child probably isn't used to putting that at cps.edu, but once they put that in, it'll take you to the special CPS login for Google. On that one, you'll have to put in your username again, and this time you just put in the first part of your username. So for example, my email address is jlee75 at CPS, and I would just put in jlee75, then I'd put in my password. Once you do that, you go ahead and click Next. So to know you're logged in, you're going to either see your child's icon up in the top uh, right hand corner or you'll see their initial. That's how you know you're logged in. Then you click on the waffles. The waffle is that little square thing up in the corner that has access to all sorts of things. If you check their mail, you'll see uh, notifications from their teachers and from the schools. Uh, their drive will have different assignments, but today we're going to really focus on getting to Google Classroom. So you're going to click on that classroom link to get there. Um, if you're trying to get a hangout for your student, you would click on their calendar and you would find the link to their teacher's hangout right there. Doo -doo -doo. So here are all the different icons that we use. Um, the most common ones are Google Classroom, um, Google Calendar, and then their Drive. Okay. So you're going to click on the waffles first, then the classroom, and then it's going to take you to the classroom homepage. You'll see all your students' classes listed there. If a student hasn't joined a classroom yet, they'll see an option to join it. If they're already in it, you can just click on the name of the class to go in and see what work is there for you. Then inside of there, over here at number one, you can toggle between the different classes. Here it tells you what class you're in. Over here, it tells you if there's assignments coming up. The stream is where teachers can type messages or information for your students. The courses is where your student can see uh, what sort of assignments they have. And then people is where you can see which people are in here. Again, your waffles and your picture will show up in these two so you can go to different things. All right, 
again, when you go into classwork, you're going to see more and more information about the different things. Um, we've made sure that all teachers have links and assignments posted in there for your student to work on. All right, again, you can access this from any device. Um, there's apps for both the Andrew, Android and the iPhone. Uh, tablets work on it and the desktop do as well. Um, so you can get it at your App Store or your Google Play. And then please, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jlee75 at cps.edu. That's jlee75 at cps.edu. You can also go ahead and give our school a call and they can help you troubleshoot from there. Um, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys are staying safe and we look forward to seeing you again in April.